Hi everyone, welcome back. Java 25 is almost here and it's a long term support release scheduled for September 2025. LTS releases are important because they are the versions companies rely on for years in production. This means every improvement in Java 25 could influence millions of applications worldwide. In this video, we'll explore what's new in Java 25, why these changes matter and we'll look at simple code examples so even if you are new to Java, you will understand. Java 25 builds on the modernization efforts we saw in Java 21 and 22. It makes the language syntax cleaner, improves compiler behavior and introduces new APIs for concurrency, security and performance. The goal is to make Java more expressive for developers while keeping the platform robust for enterprise workloads. Let's begin with language and compiler features. First feature is primitive types in patterns. Pattern matching in Java is getting more powerful. In earlier versions, pattern matching mostly worked with objects. Now primitive types like int or double can be matched directly. For example, you can see this code snippet. The primitive type integer is used in the pattern matching. Before handling primitives required extra casting or verbose code. Now you can write cleaner, shorter checks, perfect for switch statements or validation logic. This is part of Java's broader mission to reunify type patterns across the language. Next feature, module import declarations. Modules were introduced in Java 9, but they weren't always easy to read or maintain. In Java 25, you can now declare module dependencies directly at the top of a Java file using import module statement. This is similar to normal imports but clarifies which module provides which classes. It also helps tools infer dependencies automatically which makes working on modular projects less confusing. But there's a catch, sometimes modules export classes with the same name. For example, both java.util and java.sql have a date class. This will cause a compile error saying reference to date is ambiguous. To fix it, you import the specific class you need like this shown in the code. This feature makes modular code easier to read but you still need to be precise when names collide. Next feature, compact source files and instance main methods. One of the coolest beginner friendly updates is compact source files. You can now write a Java program without a class declaration like this. For example, you can directly write the main method without class to run the program. This is huge for teaching quick demos or scripting. No more boilerplate public class main for simple tasks. It lowers the barrier for new developers and makes Java feel lighter for small experiments. Next feature is flexible constructor bodies. Before Java 25, constructors had a strict rule you had to call super or this as the very first line. This often meant duplicating validation logic or creating static helpers. Now you can place validation code before the super call. For example, in this code snippet, we added validation logic to check the age below super call. This makes constructors cleaner and improves fail fast behavior, catching invalid data early without breaking Java's safety rules. Next feature is scoped values. Imagine you need to pass user information or request context down through different layers of your app like service calls or asynchronous tasks. Traditionally, developers used Threadlocal but it could leak memory or behave unpredictably with virtual threads. Scoped values solve this problem. They are lightweight, immutable and thread safe, designed to work perfectly with modern concurrency. Scoped values make it safer and faster to pass context without risking leaks or synchronization overhead. Next feature is structured concurrency. Multi-threaded programming is hard. You spin up several tasks, fetching user data, loading an order, checking inventory, but managing their life cycles can get messy. Structured concurrency treats related threads as a single unit. You open a scope, fork tasks inside it, wait for them and handle errors consistently. When the scope closes, 
Java makes sure every task finishes or is cancelled. This approach improves reliability and keeps code readable, especially with virtual threads. Next, Stable Value API. Stable values are like a safer, context-aware version of optional. They let you share immutable values across threads or computations without worrying about unexpected changes. This is useful for caching results, lazy evaluation, or ensuring that multiple threads always read the same consistent value. Next, PEM encodings of cryptographic objects. Handling PEM encoded keys and certificates, like those used with OpenSSL, often required third-party libraries. In Java 25, you can now read and write PEM files natively using the standard security APIs. That means loading RSA keys or X.509 certificates directly without extra tools, improving security and interoperability with the existing systems. Next, Vector API. The Vector API lets Java Express data parallel computations that compile into SIMD instructions on modern CPUs. For workloads like machine learning, image processing, or scientific calculations, this can bring near-native performance right in Java. Just remember to enable preview and incubator modules when using it. Next, Key Derivation Function API. Security is stronger in Java 25 thanks to a standard key derivation function API. You can now implement algorithms like pbkdf2 or script used to derive encryption keys from passwords without external libraries. This reduces vulnerabilities and ensures consistent supported cryptographic practices. What developers need to know. Many of these features are still preview or incubator. Always check the JDK release notes. APIs may change before finalization. Avoid using preview features in production unless you are ready to update them later. Let's recap. Java 25 isn't just another update. It's a major LTS release that modernizes everything from syntax and concurrency to security and performance tools. It shows Java's commitment to cutting-edge hardware, developer productivity, and secure efficient applications. Upgrading means you will benefit from improvements made since Java 21 and you will be ready for the future of Java development. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you found this useful and comment below which Java 25 feature you are most excited to try.